714 on a beautiful Thursday morning. Doc Osgood's at mic number two. How you been, sir? Hey, good I've to been, see you. been doing really good. I just had to laugh when you, when you had your prayer this morning. <laughs> just call me Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say that like right after your prayer, but I thought, well, maybe I'll better wait. You know? <laughs> Plus, it's a piece <laughs> just call me Caitlin. <laughs> uh, we're so screwed up when it comes to you know what we believe in these days, aren't we? I One mean, of the just... TV stations was run a promo. And I predicted. I mean, the guy's out of money, so he's got to have attention. He's got to have something going on in his life. And so he somebody's going to pay him a lot of money <clears throat> to pull this crap. Yeah. So anyway, and so here's the, here's this gentle talking, 28-year-old blonde talking. Oh, now, Bruce, you're normal. You're normal. If that's yeah, normal, I stop the planet I want to get off. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. Come on, people. Right. Why do we have to celebrate it? I mean, you know, let him do it, fine, but we don't have to celebrate it. I mean, it's like... What you want to do? What you want to do? You're going to do what you want to do, but let's not celebrate it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't either. <laughs> but whatever. But mm. the networks are making money on it. So. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's all about that. It really money is. Money in the bank. So. Yeah, like you say, it's somebody probably paid him to do it. So sure. <laughs> He'll come out with a book deal, <clears throat> probably a movie, and you know and he gets residuals. They call them royalties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. And that's how that's how it works. I wish we could come up with ideas like that, but we just have to work for our money, I guess. So I guess. That's all we do. So, yeah. But speaking of work, we uh, <clears throat> this time of year, a lot of people are doing a few different things, activities out on the lake. You know, you're, the lake is just getting to where it's nice. You can get out there and do some water skiing and yep. have some fun, tubing, <clears throat> all those type of things. But... Uh, one thing that can happen is when you fall off of those skis, fall off of that tube. You we've, hit the we've water. had yeah, we've had people who get some pretty good injuries from that, and you get whiplash injuries from having that head smack around. You know, you don't think hitting the water is that bad, but it is when you're going really fast like that. So, whiplash injuries are pretty common when it comes to water sports. Also. Riding the rides, Silver Dollar City. I just went to Silver Dollar City this last weekend. <laughs> I had to get adjusted afterwards. Yeah. You know, it's 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 one of those things where you, if you get whipped around, you get you you know the head gets moved around. You can get headaches really easy yeah. from that too, and car accidents as well. So I mean, uh, we've had folks from all of those activities. Car accidents, riding rides, you know, being on the lake, all those things. We, we get people from all those activities who come in holding their neck, you know, can barely lift their head off the pillow because their neck is strained. <clears throat> all of those can be fixed by using several different techniques in the office. One is ultrasound therapy. Another is massage therapy and adjusting the vertebrae so that we can get the alignment correct again and then the pressure that's on the nerves that makes the muscles tighten up will go away mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's usually it's a pretty simple deal what we do is we'll do the exam and x-rays including the nerve scan that we do which shows the nerve function which is a really good idea all that stuff's just 37 bucks so coming in doing all that preliminary stuff normally it costs you a couple hundred bucks somewhere else we just do it for 37 bucks because we believe that if you put your money towards your care, you you know you're gonna get better um, and not spend a ton of money getting better. So we we try to keep it as cost effective as sure. possible, and that's one way we do it. Just to on the diagnostic end, just to keep that fairly reasonable, pretty affordable. So and if you know when you can get relief <clears throat> like this without swallowing a pill, right? Yes, right, exactly, and. Uh, there's, been a, there's a saying that I used a lot, and I've said it on the radio before, too, but it's, you know, you, headaches aren't because of an aspirin shortage in your body, okay? Yeah. People start popping the pills because they think that headache needs aspirin to fix it, and it's not why the headache is there. Right. The headache is there because there's something not moving correctly, not working right, <clears throat> and typically that's with the neck. Yep. And so most, I'd say 80 to 90 percent of headaches are generated from the neck. Yep, I agree. And misalignments in the neck and those whiplash type injuries we talked about. You can have a whiplash type injury. I've had folks come in recently where 
they've had this whiplash, really bad whiplash neck where there's no curvature left at all in the neck. And they, they, you're like, gosh, I don't remember what. And then they think back, and back when they were a kid, they, you know, hit their head by falling really hard, or really, or you know, ran into a wall or something like that, fell and fell down some steps. Yeah, yeah, and that's where most of those things happen, huh. not from big car accidents or things like that, which can occur. Yeah, but a lot of times it's just from being a kid and doing stupid stuff. A long time ago, my dad was in a auto accident. He was rear-ended. And it spun the car and it hurt his neck. But you remember these neck braces? Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad <clears throat> thing to put in a neck brace? I don't put people in neck braces because if you um, stop the movement, you can get a lot more stiffness out. Well, that's of it. what I was thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So the best, better thing is let's get those muscles working again by using therapies. Uh, electric stem, ultrasound, massage, get the muscles moving. Yeah and also adjusting the spine <clears throat> every time you adjust the spine you're going to increase range of motion you're going to decrease inflammation and you're going to improve all of the functions of that spine so yeah every time you do that it's uh it's going to heal and healing is what it's all about because usually when you have an injury like that it's about inflammation and if we can decrease that inflammation you're going to heal you know, having you on the program has helped me understand, you know, because I'm not a big pill popper. You know, once oh, yeah. I'll take an aspirin, but I just, you know, I don't, don't like I, I don't, I don't need it. You know, I don't, but right. I remember a TV commercial years ago it was Buffering. Remember Buffering? Oh, yeah. And this one lady says, uh, Joe, you got my Buffering? Oh, well, I gave it to Andy. He's got a sore <laughs> pitching elbow. Andy yeah. got my Buffering? Well, no, I gave it to, <laughs> right. I gave it to Sally. She had a headache. <laughs> Sally got my Buffering? Well, I gave it over to, to, Joey over here because <laughs> his back was hurt. You know, right. and these people are passing around yeah, the pills. Pop like, these pills. Baby. But that that was the fifties generation. Oh, yeah. You got a headache, pop a pill. You got a cough, a pill take for some syrup. You know, get better, off the pills. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> so, no, yeah. I mean, we <clears throat> we like to have better living through natural healing. Yeah, yeah. And so, the most natural thing that you can do for your body is to make sure it's aligned. Spinal alignment. You know. If you do if you do Google search, all you gotta do is put in chiropractic spinal alignment. You're gonna get a plethora of information on what it actually helps. So many different things um, that are affected by just having a misaligned spine. If you go to the website uh, mountainhomechiro.com, our website, it's a really really good website. It's put together really well, and I want it now. It has great information about several different topics of what chiropractic care does for people. And, you know, there's, there's things in there, can chiropractic care help me? Um, you know, it shows you just what it can do, how many different things it can fix and help. But, uh, and if you still have questions, if people still have questions after they go to the website, they, there's a link there to email me and send me an email and uh, just ask me a question. I get a lot of folks who just ask me questions. Hey, can chiropractic care help with this or can chiropractic care help with that? And it uh it's something that gives me a little bit more time to uh talk because i can just sit down and write the email and tell you what uh, i think is possible for you but ultimately to know whether we can help you or not you have to come in usually take some x-rays do a nerve scan and then uh, we'll be able to to find out if your situation particularly is something that we can fix or not well, no, and look at this. This is uh, this is on uh, mountainhomechiro.com. This is our uh, it's website, folks. Yep. Children and infants, colic, ear infections, and headaches. Okay, yeah. the ear infections. Okay, that there's trauma in childbirth. Yeah. And I'm not is. saying there take is. a newborn and start by you know. But I I have I've adjusted oh, have newborns. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm a newborn. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, especially you know, all my kids. The ear infections. That's that's very common in in kids. Yeah, definitely. And what happens is the uh, ear canals get blocked up. And they won't drain. And there are actual adjustments that can be done to the neck and to the actual ears themselves to help yeah. the eustachian tubes drain. Well, I told you about my uncle that uh, having some severe dizziness mm -hmm. to the point he couldn't drive, couldn't hardly walk. So they put him in the hospital, put him on antibiotics, couldn't figure out what was wrong. So we don't right. know. Go home. We'll try to figure it out. Right. And finally, um, my aunt took him to his massage therapist. Mm -hmm. He goes at least once a week yeah. or so. And the massage therapist was like, oh, 
and got in the back of the neck, back of the head, and says, "Move the muscles." There and... is something going on. So he says, "I've been so dizzy," and all of a sudden, all this congestion, fl- mm-hmm. and massage therapy. Yeah, and that's and the hospital couldn't find it after two days. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty common. You know, we we adjust folks, and they'll get off the table and go, "Man, I I can feel my head clearing. You know, my sinuses yeah. are clearing," and so all of that takes does take place, and so. I yeah. got to ask you a dumb, dumb question, but <laughs> maybe this will help somebody out there. How many times, perhaps uh, in this season, mm-hmm. you know, staying up a little bit later and somebody says, hey, I brought this pizza over, you know, and it's full of onions and bell pepper. And you, you start, it's 8 30, 9 o'clock at night. You have a piece of pizza, and one leads to another. Then yeah. about 10 30, quarter to 11, you go to bed and you get that heartburn. Oh, yeah. And you're laying there and it burns and burns and burns. Then you get up and you burp like this. <laughs> okay, is that not a perfect example of alignment? Because you're laying down and you're burning and you get up. Right. Yeah, that's, that has to do with just the stomach itself. You know, when you're laying down, you're going to have those acids come back up on you too. But now, isn't that example, though, when I change my position, mm-hmm. then you get the little burp there. Well, if you change the position of the spine when you're in pain, doesn't it make sense that the right. alignment is all alignment makes a difference so if, if if just like alignment makes a difference on a car sure mm-hmm. you know if you're not aligned with your vehicle you're going to wear out your tires well if you're not aligned with your spine you're going to wear out the soft tissues of the spine which are the mm-hmm. disc material yep. that's the cushion that keeps pressure off of the nerve so the thing is if you go for weeks and months and years with bad alignment of the spine you're going to wear the discs or the soft tissues and you're going to wear them improperly and you're going to end up with disc degeneration, disc decay. So that's something you want to avoid if you can is to uh, make sure the spine is completely aligned. Everything's working like it should. You don't have the disc decay that can come from that. Hmm. What's the most common, the sciatica or the neck? What do you see the most? Uh, you know, actually, it's fairly even. Really? Yeah. yeah I mean, there's uh, there's a pretty even amount of folks who have either neck or low back sciatica type issues. Sciatica is really common though. I mean, uh, and sciatica is nothing more than pain coming down the back of the leg, typically due to uh, nerve impingement or pressure on the nerves from the lower back. Yep. And most of the time we'll take x-rays of those people and we'll find that L4 and L5, the very last lumbar vertebrae, will have very little disc material left. There's a lot of disc decay and a lot of degeneration of the discs. And that's what's causing most of the uh, problem with the pain coming down the back of the leg. On TV, I've been seeing these things where you can put this brace just below your knee on yeah, the thigh. Yeah, I've seen that too. What do you think? I, I think it probably does put pressure on that pressure point that goes down the back of the calf. But does it cure like you can? It's going to relieve pain uh as soon as you take it off and don't wear it though it's probably going to come back so i I would say hey use whatever helps the pain but let's see if we can fix the alignment so that we can get rid of it completely yeah you know it's typically going to be an alignment issue more than anything else and like i said disc decay issue and even if you have disc decay or disc degeneration, you're going to improve with adjustments to the spine because every time you adjust the spine, you open up those discs and you rehydrate them a little bit. <clears throat> so you can actually rehydrate bad discs over time with spinal alignments done on a repetitive wow. type basis. Yeah. And you can, can get rid of it. Down to the final minute today. Oh, um, yeah. I'm on mountainhomecairo.com. You can schedule an appointment. You can ask doc questions by email. Uh-huh. And you enjoy getting that. I like getting the emails. Yeah. They're, they're, they're fun. It's fun to answer people's questions and let them know what's possible. You know, you get some desperate people. Say, I've tried everything, and, you know, I can't seem to get this fixed. And, well, you, can you help me? Yeah, most of the time we can. Sure. I mean, it's a... Uh, there's a lot of things that chiropractic care can can take care of. Keeps you from going under the knife and keeps you out of the pharmacy. <clears throat> exactly. You know. Yeah, and that's what we believe in. Try to keep your your body fit and healthy naturally, without having to take the drugs, and especially avoiding things like surgery. You betcha. We do that all the time. Oh, phone number, location. We're at 
640 Highway 62 East, right across the street from Affordable Insurance. And it's 425-4424. Just give us a call. We'll get you in. And Doc, Doc Osgood has helped me many times, and I encourage you to give him a call or send him a question by email at mountainhomechiro.com. Time for the news. Be right back.